you'll have something to eat. For today's Health Minute, I'm Mary Maloney. It's always hard to limit the sugar yes, this time of year. It is, it is. Well, that does it for 8 News at 5.30 on this Monday. A brand new half hour of 8 News, weather and sports where you live starts right now. Tonight at 6, a new petition for Delegate Joe Morrissey to step down as we learn details about his plea deal. Plus, Governor Terry McAuliffe wants tougher gun regulations, but local Republicans are firing back. And Amazon.com deals with a big computer glitch that drops some items down to just a penny. 8 News at 6 starts now. Thanks for joining us. We begin with breaking news tonight. The case of the teen accused of killing eight-year-old Richmond boy Marty Cobb is heading back in front of a grand jury. Court records show Maurice Washington is set to appear before the grand jury January 5th on charges of murder, malicious wounding, and strangulation. This comes after the Commonwealth's attorney temporarily dropped charges last month. Prosecutors wanted to wait for forensic results from the scene to help their main witness, Marty's 12-year-old sister. Our other top story tonight, people on both sides of the aisle are calling for Delegate Joe Morrissey's resignation. The demands come after the delegate entered an Alford plea related to having sex with a teenager. That plea means Morrissey acknowledged there's enough evidence to convict him, but does not admit guilt. Our 8 News reporter Mark Tenya has been on top of this story. He joins us now with the very latest. Mark? Yes, Christina, the embattled lawmaker says he's still deciding what to do, but will not be influenced by others. Ultimately, he will do what he thinks is best for his district. When the offer plea came down, that was it, as far as I'm concerned. I'm, ex I'm extremely disappointed. Kevin Sullivan, a Democrat, is running for...